If you clicked on this video, you probably suffered from low performance on your Lenovo Legion 5 laptop without even knowing the reason. Now you might feel frustrated right now, but don't worry, in this video I'm showing you the possible reasons for such a problem and we are going to fix this problem together, okay? I give you here the ultimate solution for laggish performance or low FPS on Lenovo Legion 5 laptop based on my experience with issues I encountered on this laptop so far. I have here my Legion 5 and it got an NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card inside. So when I experienced a laggy performance, I knew that this problem is irrelevant, putting into consideration that my GPU is decent enough. The problem becomes really annoying, like for example, when you play a game usually on like more than 120 FPS and suddenly you find yourself running the game on less than 30 FPS, that is a red flag, that indicates a problem here. You need to know something about this laptop, you need to understand that this laptop comes with two graphic cards inside. The first graphic card is the integrated one, which comes with the Ryzen CPU, and the second one is the NVIDIA RTX graphics card. So you can guess that sometimes the system uses the integrated graphics card instead of the NVIDIA graphics card, and we don't want that to happen because we want to get the maximum performance possible for the best gaming experience, right? All right, here, here is the first step. There is an app called Lenovo Vantage. If it is not installed in your system yet, go to Microsoft Store and search for the app and install it. If you have uh, the app already installed on your system, you can just skip this part. Now, open Lenovo Vantage. On the main interface, you can see some options with some switches there. Make sure that the hybrid mode option is switched off. So what is this hybrid mode and why should I turn it off? Well, this is a good question here. Surely this mode exists for a good reason, which is saving battery's life. The performance that the NVIDIA graphics card delivers to your system surely needs a lot of power to consume. Hybrid mode helps you in a case that maybe you are if you are not connected to a power source to preserve battery's life by using the integrated AMD graphics card instead of the NVIDIA graphics card. So if you are connected to the power source and you want the best gaming experience, disable hybrid mode, okay? Now the next step, unplug your charger from your laptop then perform a system restart. Now just spam F2 on your keyboard before the BIOS loads to load the BIOS settings instead. All right, here we are on the buy settings. From there, we click on more settings. At the left, there are some tabs. We choose configuration tab. After we enter this tab, we need to go down until we find disable building in battery option. We click on it. The BIOS should be giving us a message that says, system will be powered down if you select yes. Now select yes. Now the laptop is powered off. We should be waiting at least, you know, 10 seconds. Then we plug in the charger cable again. Then we turn on the laptop again.
and voila, the problem should be gone and your laptop should be working like a charm again. On the last step here, let me explain what we did. What we did actually, we have made some sort of power cycle reset because of power problem that caused this laptop for some reason not sending enough wattage power to the graphics card. Now after performing this reset, your laptop power distribution should be back to normal again. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.